Jin. Thank you for staying with us on Y254 Updates. And if you're just joining us tonight, we're talking about depression in men. We seek to understand really why is it that probably men are embarrassed to talk about mental health? What can we really do? How do we get to create platforms where men can freely talk about issues that affect them? As we take care of uh, women and children, as far as mental health is concerned, we also try to seek how do we make sure that we change perceptions, we build better conversations, around mental health when it comes to men. Uh, be part of this conversation by talking to us on all our social media platforms. That is at Y254 channel. You can also reach me at Patricia Morioki. Thank you very much, uh, Phil and Gideon, for joining us tonight. Thank you I'm very much. happy to have you. I hope that you're safe, especially with COVID-19. hope you're staying safe. Yeah. Okay. So I'd like to start with you, Gideon. When you think about depression or when people talk about uh, depression or mental uh, issues in men, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? Um, thank you, Patricia. I think when the subject of depression is men is uh, concerned, mm -hmm. uh, first and foremost, when it's a man, I think there is a question of denial mm -hmm. because how we are nurtured mm -hmm. as African men, mm -hmm. if I may, is that uh, you're supposed to be strong all the time. Mm -hmm. You're never supposed to show weakness. You're mm -hmm. not supposed to be emotional. Mm -hmm. So you find that uh, as a man, we hardly admit that we're in a state of depression mm -hmm. because we want to maintain that status quo mm -hmm. of I'm strong mm -hmm. and I'm fine. I'm okay. in control mm -hmm. of the situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I feel when you get to hear about mental health, and especially probably when someone is talking about depression, mm -hmm. what strikes you, especially when you, think, when you think about depression in men? When I think about depression in men, I think about uh, a man in functioning in his limited ability. Mm -hmm. You see, when a man is functioning in his limited ability, it means that his brain mm -hmm. is not functioning at its optimal, mm -hmm. meaning there's something that affecting him. Mm -hmm. And there are many things that can affect the way we function or the functionality of a man. Mm -hmm. uh, lifestyle, family, mm -hmm. work, mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and even, even thoughts of, 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 of things are not going well and mm -hmm. you begin to have negative thoughts mm -hmm. and you begin to entertain those thoughts, you get depressed. Mm -hmm. So I think about a man not functioning mm -hmm at his full optimal mm -hmm. or at his optimal capacity. Okay. Yes. Uh, most of the time when we talk about depression, now while addressing literally both male and female, we know some of the triggers. This yes. could be probably, we have social, economic, and we, we also have uh, probably certain issues that people, uh, that affect people and probably lead to depression. Mm -hmm. We know probably, as when we look up at men, they expect them to be providers, protectors, mm -hmm. and sometimes probably a man is really trying so hard to do it, but at the moment probably they cannot manage to do that. So why do you think that men feel embarrassed to come up and talk about the issues that affect them, Gideon? What is it that has made us not like create a wall to make sure that as a woman, as I cry or as I have, I can approach someone easily and tell them this is what I'm going through, a man cannot have that freedom. Okay. Among, med among other reasons mm -hmm. that would make a man not want to talk about the state they're in, mm -hmm. uh, and the major reason I think it's the ego. Mm -hmm. Because we think as men, we are so strong, we are superior mm -hmm. than the women. Mm -hmm. And actually statistic has it that women, most of the people who undergo depression mm -hmm. are women, mm -hmm. but on the other hand, most of the, those people who commit suicide as a result of depression Amen. are men. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And this is because this man feels like, no, it can't be me. Mm -hmm. How a man, as strong as I'm supposed to be, mm -hmm. how can I admit that I'm in depression? Mm -hmm. how, can I, how can I admit that things are running out of hand? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it ends up being, it surrounds the kind of, uh, the, 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 the impression I want to create, mm -hmm. the face, it's about what people think of me, how mm -hmm. people see me. Mm -hmm. People shouldn't see me as a weak person. Mm -hmm. People shouldn't see me as a person who is not in control. Mm -hmm. So we end up closing mm -hmm. and blocking, even seeking assistance. We mm -hmm. cannot even seek help because we feel 
we have it all under control. Mm -hmm. But in reality, we are suffering as men. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a question of just knowing that it is normal mm -hmm. and it is fine okay. as a man mm -hmm. to go through depression mm -hmm. and even talk about it so that you can seek help. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Fi, when we talk about the reason as to why men are embarrassed to probably talk about mental uh, issues or issues that they get to face, mm -hmm. what do we think? What do you think now we can do in terms of creating platforms where men can feel comfortable? to really talk about their issues before we now try probably to look mm -hmm. at what the church can do? Yeah, first of all, I think it's, it's important to change the narrative mm -hmm. because the perspective that is there is that a, a man is not supposed to be weak. Mm -hmm. You know, the perspective that is as put out there is that uh, a man is supposed to be uh, a lion. Mm -hmm. Even lions do get wounded sometimes. Yeah, it's you true, know? they do. And it's okay for us to change in the narrative mm -hmm. and know that sometimes it's okay to fail, mm -hmm. that sometimes it's okay to make mistakes, okay. mm -hmm. that sometimes it's okay to make blunder. Mm -hmm. Any great thing began from a seed. Mm -hmm. So it is important sometimes to take our lessons mm -hmm. of failure, mm -hmm. you know, our lessons of, of, of feeling we have let down someone or ourselves on one way or another. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it is important to take it positively and to make them a stepping stone mm -hmm. and a learning experience. Mm -hmm. What doesn't break you makes you. Yeah. So if you want to be great, mm -hmm. stand on top of something. Mm -hmm. You can stand on top of your failure mm -hmm. and conquer that Goliath of failure mm -hmm. and become strong. Mm -hmm. You can stand on top of that weakness mm -hmm. and stand on top of that weaknesses and become strong. It's okay to fail. Mm -hmm. It's okay to make mistakes. Mm -hmm. For mistakes and failure is the greatest teacher mm -hmm. of life. Okay, I really like that for, for, and I hope that for men or probably for every person who is watching us tonight, they are really picking on certain uh, strong points that are being talked about here tonight. I would like us to look at masculinity. Uh, we know people say that men are not supposed to be emotional. But the question here is that are we living in a society that says men are supposed to be strong, but we have men probably dying from the inside? We just talk of, the, of them, we can see them being strong physically, but emotionally, these people are literally draining. So Gideon, how can men talk about their issues, seek help, and still have a balance of being strong, being termed as strong beings. How do we now create the balance between these two things? Uh, th this starts from the issue of strong, a man being strong and everything starts from socialization. Mm -hmm. It is about how we are groomed by our parents. Mm -hmm. Because you'll find when a boy and a girl are being raised, there's a particular way that a boy is supposed to behave. Mm -hmm. For example, you find for a boy, when you're growing, you are told, Kulia ni makosa. Mm -hmm. You're not even supposed to cry, mm -hmm. even when you're very much emotional. Mm -hmm. You're not supposed to show emotions. Mm -hmm. But I think for men, and as we, we grow up, and with the kind of exposure we've got, mm -hmm. we've got to realize that, first of all, before I'm a man, I am a human being. Mm -hmm. And human beings are social beings, mm -hmm. they're emotional beings, at the same time they're spiritual beings, and therefore, I think the question of strong and weak should be, it should come much later after I've d admitted mm -hmm. that I can go through anything a woman can go through. Mm -hmm. And for me to get that help, I have to admit. Mm -hmm. I have to say, yes, I'm going through this, but it is possible to overcome, mm -hmm. as Pastor Phil has said. Mm -hmm. Because if you think of yourself as Superman, mm -hmm. as the society wants us to look like, mm -hmm. You fail, mm -hmm. you even fail more. Mm -hmm. And that's when you reach to a point where you feel, now that the Superman in me didn't conquer this, mm -hmm. I think the best thing I should do is to quit. Mm -hmm. And what happens, that is when the suicidal thoughts start coming in. Mm -hmm. So how to strike the balance? Let's admit that, yes, mm -hmm. we are supposed to be leaders as men, we are supposed to be strong as men, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean that we don't face problems mm -hmm. that can overwhelm us sometimes. Okay. And when we face them, there are, there are always avenues to channel those problems mm -hmm. so that we can get help mm -hmm. from those people mm -hmm. who, uh, probably counselors, we have even other men. Mm -hmm. I can just go and share with men, mm -hmm. but we don't share. 
That's why I started by saying that most of the people, women are known to be the most affected by depression, mm -hmm. but men are the majority that die. Mm -hmm as a result of depression. Mm -hmm. It's because you don't want to seek help. Okay. Yeah. Uh, when you look up around, when you talk, because people not feeling, men not feeling free to talk about uh, mental health is because of stigmatization. Mm -hmm. Because they, they, they have that fear inside of them of how if I go probably, sometimes even talking to their wives or their partners or their sisters or their mothers, they, they think about, uh, the first thought is, how are they going to? take me? How yeah. are they going to think about me? So Phil, I'd like you to talk, uh, as we talk about stigmatization around mental health, what do you think the church, what role can the church play to make sure that we are yeah. creating strong men, both mm. physically and emotionally? Okay. Before I come to the church, mm -hmm. uh, it's okay for men to know mm -hmm. that it's okay to bleed. Mm -hmm. You cannot heal unless you bleed. Mm -hmm. yeah. And one of the ways wounds heal faster mm -hmm. is when you expose your wounds. Mm -hmm. So don't feel sad. Mm -hmm. Don't feel, uh, don't, 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 don't die with your pain. Expose your wound. Mm -hmm. Let your wound heal. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's okay to expose your wound for the wound to heal. Mm -hmm. So I'd like men to know that don't be ashamed of the bleeding mm -hmm. because bleeding is a pathway for healing yeah. mm -hmm. so let your pain out mm -hmm. you know let it loose mm -hmm. loose you know talk to people mm -hmm. talk to your fellow men mm -hmm. talk to your pastor mm -hmm. talk to people that you look up to mm -hmm. and tell them hey bro i'm bleeding you got some elastoplast or something mm -hmm. you know oh, that, that's yeah. nice. mm -hmm. <laughs> to expose yourself in order to heal mm -hmm. now coming back to the church the church plays an important role. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, as a man thinketh, so mm -hmm. is he. Mm -hmm. So actually there, God is telling us that it is important for us to have positive thinking. Mm -hmm. You are who you think. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, who you are mostly is also determined by who you hang around with. Mm -hmm. I was talking to my friend today, uh, my friend is called OJ, mm -hmm. and I was talking to my friend today and I was telling OJ, you know, there are some people that you can hang around with and they can just drain you and take away the grace from you mm -hmm. and take away the strength from you and take away the virtue from you. I'm sure, Patricia, you being around people <laughs> yeah, true. because they have negative energy mm -hmm. as a man thinking so is he. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it is important, number one, to hang around good people, mm -hmm. to hang around people who have positive energy, who will influence, who will influence us to grow. Mm -hmm. And God says in his word that I live in a high and holy place, mm -hmm. but also in them that are broken and contrite mm -hmm. in spirit. Mm -hmm. God is with you, mm -hmm. despite your pain, mm -hmm. despite what you're going through, despite how long you've been there. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you one thing. That I like the Bible, man. The Bible says, surely, because I like that verse in the book of Isaiah, it says, surely, when a man falls down, mm -hmm. doesn't he get up? And this is what I'll say to the men. Wake up, sh shake off the dust off your feet, and walk again, mm -hmm. smile again. Dance again, sing again, mm -hmm. for you are a man full of strength, full of grace that God has given you. Wow, huh? that is very powerful. Uh, as we try to still continue to have this conversation, because apparently time is kind of not on our side, I would like you, Gideon, to address your mental health when it comes to young men. We have young men probably go through a certain situation and they turn to drugs. What message do you have tonight for young men who are watching us tonight or probably are going to see this uh, clip later on? What can you tell them? What is one of the best ways probably for them to seek help when they feel stressed or they feel pressured? Thank you. Any young men watching out there, I think uh, the most important thing for you to know is that you're not the first, nor the last person will go through that particular situation. Mm -hmm. So as you go through it, just know that it is coming to pass. Mm -hmm. It is not here to stay. We have gone through it. Mm -hmm. Others have gone through it. Many more even after you will go through it. Mm -hmm. So don't allow yourself to die mm -hmm. just because of the situation you are in. Mm -hmm. Drugs are not a solution. Uh, engaging in uh, uh, irresponsible acts is not the solution. Mm -hmm. Pastor has said it, that God has told us in his word mm -hmm. that if a man falls, they shall rise. Mm -hmm. The same applies to a young person. Mm -hmm. If you fall, 
you'll rise. Mm -hmm. And there's a great future ahead of you. Mm -hmm. Don't allow any situation to define you or limit you from becoming the person that God designed you to become. Amen. There's greatness in you. Run for it. Okay, wow. There's greater greatness in you. Run for it. As you wind up, Phil, uh -huh. how do we show support to men? when they are fighting uh, depression or when they are going through mental health? How do we show support and love? First of all, let us speak about it openly. Mm -hmm. Because as I said earlier, hidden wounds don't heal. Mm -hmm. So let them come out and speak about their wounds. Mm -hmm. And one of the ways we can show support is that we are saying, hey guys, we are here, mm -hmm. we are available. Mm -hmm. You can talk to us about what you're going through. Mm -hmm. It's not the end of the world. Mm -hmm. Someone went through that mm -hmm. and he overcame and he, and he became a better man. And we give example as well of people who were nothing and today they are one of the greatest leaders in this world. Mm -hmm. So I will tell uh, people who are fighting and struggling with depression out there, you know what, you're not alone. Mm -hmm. You know, God is with you and we are here with you. We can stand with you because you're stronger than you think. Wow. Thank you very much, guys, for finding the time to talk about this. I know probably the time was short. We're going to create more, uh, another, probably another day and talk more about depression. You've heard what today uh, Phil and Gideon have talked about. For me, what I can tell you is that it is okay to not be okay, whether as a man or a woman. If you don't take care of your mental health, then it is not easy for you to progress in other aspects of your life. My name is Patricia Moriyoki, and do have yourselves a very good night. Thank you.